So that's a very good question. I, I spent a lot of time uh, during undergraduate um, deciding between either doing an MD-PhD or going to science or going into medicine. I took all the prerequisite courses for medicine, but also um, spent a lot of time in actually doing bench research, and either during my summers or during the during the school year. I think ultimately, I, I didn't really choose a career in medicine until after I graduated from college uh, at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, and I spent the summer abroad in, uh, in Malawi, Africa, and there I really, really got the opportunity to see. Um, what it was like to see people suffering from preventable illnesses, um, patients with HIV. I worked there with children teaching about HIV prevention and uh, looking at the huge disparity and gap between the people there and, and uh, the healthcare system here. I decided to come back and spend the next couple of years of my life preparing for medical school, taking the MCAT and applying for school. Besides my scientific interest in, in the human condition and, and illness, uh, I personally had a, a grandmother who was very ill uh, while I was in high school then also in college with colon cancer. Unfortunately, when they found her cancer, she was already you know, stage four and metastatic. And uh, I remember coming home from college, uh, having to take her to her radiation appointments. Um, and having that experience of um, caring for a loved one who was ill, it, it made me really want to um, be involved in that process of uh, of delivering care, but also um, preventing uh, situations like this where someone didn't, you know, she didn't actually enter the, to the healthcare system until she was already pretty advanced in her disease. And so uh, it was very important for me to enter medicine to um, Kind of bridge that gap in the disparities in healthcare, but also um, fulfill a scientific interest of mine.